Hi, it's Adrian. How are you today? And today I'm working with a palette that I consider to be way too bright and I actively avoid using it. In fact, I've used a couple of products today, not all of them, but a couple of them that I just consider to be way too bright and I've been trying to deal with them in a different way because I don't like having palettes in my collection that I don't feel that I can use because I can't get them to work. So today it's kind of an experiment and uh, let me know below what you think of what I did here. And go ahead and start off. I started with the Beauty Bay Glow Filter. I had this in the shade Light, so it's my summer shade. Uh, during the winter time I probably wear Fair, but I haven't gotten this in a Fair shade. So again, I'm wearing Light. And then uh, that's not one of the products that I have problems with. Another product that I don't usually have a problem with, and I didn't today, is the NYX Buttermilk uh, Bronzer. I have mine in Buttercup. So it's the lightest shade, and it comes out peachy on me. So um, yeah, I think it worked out pretty well there. And I like that shade. I did go ahead and use an elf shade that I've had in the back that I haven't really been wanting to use until summertime. And it's this shade, and so that's what I have on for my blush today. I did go ahead and put a little bit of the Rare Beauty Hope on top of it. So um, I have these two on. And then I did add a little bit of the Daybreak by Revlon. And this is the shade in 201, and so I use this as my highlighter today. And I think between the highlighter and the Rare Beauty, I actually got this shade to work for me. And like I said, it's a shade that I've been actively avoiding and putting off till summertime because I really didn't want to work with it being really bright. But I think these two products helped bring it down to a point where I can wear it. So I'm liking that one, and I think that that's a good fix for that particular product. Another product that I've been avoiding is the Lost in Love palette by ColourPop. And I got this one in my last ColourPop haul. It's a really pretty palette, but I thought that it was way too bright. And I had done a look at the orange, and then I had done a look where I combined the orange and the pink and the rose, and it just seemed really too vibrant. And so what I did this time was I took a little bit different approach to it. I started with a Super Shock, and this is the Secret Garden, and that's what I actually ended up putting in my crease today. So I started with this shade, and then as far as what I used from the palette, I did go ahead and use um, this shade in the inner corner, from the inner corner up to here. And then on the um, inner part of the lid, I went ahead and used this orange. I used this orange on the outer part of the lid. And then I went ahead and used this. is one of their new shimmers, and it's a creamed powder. Or the, um, yeah, it's one of their new shimmers. It has micro shimmers in there. And I put that on the crease as well. And then I went ahead and took Ladybird. And um, this is a really good topper shade, and I put it all over the lid. So what I did was I basically went ahead and put uh, glitter both on the lid and in the crease, and it took down the color a little bit, and so I really think it helps it to diffuse it enough to the point where I can wear it without just going, Poof, you know, like there's a lot of color there. This is the way it turned out. And so, um, yeah, it's glitter, and I think it's really helping a lot. Um, let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, I used a ColourPop Gel Eyeliner as well on here. And this one is in Joyride, so that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and use another product that I never use because it's just too bright. This is one of the Just a Tints by ColourPop. And it is what I have on right now. And again, I don't ever use it because it's really, really bright. 
But for this video, I went ahead and combined it with Hard Candy Gloss and Sun Kissed. And this one has a lot of glitter in it. And also the NYX Butter Gloss Bling in the peach color. So I have all three of these on. And again, the glitter went ahead and diffused the color enough that it doesn't come off as bright, bright orange. It kind of tones it down a little bit. It did the same thing. The glitter did the same thing with the eyeshadow. And so it probably did the same thing with the cheeks as well. But it's really letting me wear some of the more vibrant colors and just tone them down to the point where I feel like I can wear them. And again, you don't want to have a palette that you feel that you can't wear. And so by going ahead and putting glitter and toppers on this, I'm feeling like I can actually go out in this look and I don't feel like I'm going Wong! at people, which is something you don't want to do all the time. Once in a while, you know, once in a while. Um, so I also use the Beauty Pie uh, Triple Glow Powder as my finishing powder to, to give it a whole shiny kind of look to it. And um, let's see, the Essence uh, Thick and Wow and Caramel Blonde and the Essence Volume Stylist in the 18 Hour Wear as well. So that's the whole look. And like I said, um, it's how to deal with really vibrant colors that you don't think that you can wear and a strategy to kind of help you tweak them a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that I have a palette that I can now get to work for me. So um, that's the video and I hope that you have a good day. Bye.